Hi everyone, so it's late in the evening here, too late for a coffee really, uh, possibly a decaf, but we prefer today to go for a hot chocolate. Um, and I know that's a recipe for the barista maker that a lot of people have been wanting to see made, the hot chocolate recipe. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to make it and show you how the barista maker works, show you the hot chocolate at the end. Obviously you won't be able to taste it, but we've made a few of these and trust me they do taste good. Um, so let's set the machine off, if you see a bit of funny lighting it's just because it, the camera tries to focus in on the lights on the barista maker. Believe me, if I can make this, well anybody can make this, it's so easy. It's just, if we look at the recipe down here, this is the drink we're going to be making. I don't, that's the same mugs that we've got here I think, but I don't know why they've uh, made it a full cup, because it doesn't actually make a full cup, the recipe they've said, but they obviously meant to want it, uh, wanted to make it look good on the pictures, didn't they? Um, but it's three dark espresso chocolate pieces, 100 ml of cold semi-skim milk, um, and that's it really, it's just so easy. So we'll put the uh, pieces in first, I'll just unwrap these three pieces. So I'm using the um, dark chocolate squares from the espresso, three of those, but you can, you know, if you prefer milk chocolate, you can mix and match, it's not a problem at all. Uh, the hot chocolate setting actually, if you're buying, if you've just bought the barista maker and you think you've found this video thinking, how on earth do I make the hot chocolate? I can't find it. I actually had to add it from my app. So I had to add hot chocolate, remove one of the other recipes, because it only holds 13. I had to remove one of the other ones that I didn't want and add the hot chocolate one using the app once it's paired via Bluetooth. So that's three dark chocolate squares, 100 ml of milk, it says semi-skimmed milk, semi-skimmed cold milk. And then you just pop the lid on and literally just set it off. I don't know, if you come in a bit closer you might be able to hear it. Or we can, look, if you have a look in from the top actually, you can see it whizzing up the uh, chocolate squares in there with the milk. Like I say, they're not big drinks so don't be fooled, like 100 ml of milk isn't, it's not going to make a huge drink is it? But you can't really do this in the era chinos. That's why the it costs it costs 179 pound the barista maker. It's expensive, um, but I got a discount on it because I had a, a deal from the Nespresso website where I, I managed to get about 70% off it in the end. Which was I've got details of that on the channel page. I don't know if the deal's still on, but if you hop onto the channel page, just go back through the videos, you'll see it's a 500 capsule. I bought 500 capsules and got a massive discount on this including my expert um, and ambassador 20% discount that comes with it already. Like I say, we're making it in the view cups. We unboxed those recently. We unboxed the cappuccino, the espresso and the lungo size on the same video. So if you're interested to look at that, take a look at the channel page again. And also we're going to be making, we've already made the mocha on a different video, but that was just the first demonstration. So we'll be making that one again in a separate video at some point. But there's also like the Mocha Venoir, come a bit closer on that, we can see we're going to be making that. Uh, some of these, Espresso Con Panna. They look really cool, don't they? And Ice Nitro, some ice drinks we're going to be making as well. But with these ones, it's just whipping up the semi-skim milk, and it whips it up like whipped cream. It's The texture of it's brilliant. Um, which I wasn't expecting, but it's not really a milk frother. I don't know why they call it, I think they call it a milk frother, but really it is a recipe maker as well. That's the main thing, it makes these recipes. If you just want froth milk, to be honest, I'd probably buy the cheaper Arachino, especially the Arachino 4, because it's got the extra froth setting. So we listen to that now, it's just finishing off. It is quite loud, but... But it does make a really good hot chocolate. I'm going to take this recipe book away just because I don't want to get hot chocolate over it. In case I spill it, hopefully I won't. And that's it, done. So we just take the lid off. This comes out. You have to. It, it does come out. There. You have to hold the whisk to keep it in or remove the whisk. And then just pour it neatly in today if I can. Not the neatest person in the world, but I'm doing it. It's coming out all right. And then this just, it's so easy to quickly wash up the air uh, barista maker as well. It really is quick to just rinse out and away you go again. Um, but I've actually just created a little bit of dark chocolate, 100% cacao 
dark chocolate. You might have seen this in the supermarkets. It's seriously, I can't actually eat it as just normal chocolate. Uh, it's way too powerful for me, even though I like dark chocolate. But on top of something like this, or in a recipe, it's really good stuff. Um, and that's a hot chocolate from uh, the barista recipe maker. I, d I don't know whether that's made you think differently about the machine, whether you think you might want to buy it, it's up to you. Um, my wife's been pestering me to keep this one uh, because she really wants to keep it, and I think we will end up doing it's just about finding places to store all these things on the counter, isn't it? But thanks for watching. We'll be making those other recipes. We've got loads of other Nespresso videos. Hop on our channel page, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Um, and also hit the notification bell so that the videos pop up on your phone and you just quickly watch them and you won't miss out on any new content. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.